name is Cindy Jo. I have been here since the summer of 2010, and I am a particle accelerator operator here at Fermilab. The story that I wanted to tell you today was about a blizzard in February 2011, only a, you know six or, or seven months after I'd started at the lab. This turned out to be one of the worst blizzards in Chicago history. Welcome to Chicago, right? I was scheduled to come in for my first uh, midnight shift of that rotation. So accelerator operators come to work, rain or shine. Um, we take turns working in shifts around the clock, and, and I was supposed to be there at midnight. Um, unfortunately, I had a lot of trouble getting getting into work. So, you know, I tried for hours shoveling out my car, but um, eventually when I called in and said, I'm going to be a little bit late, they said, stay where you are. If you're safe, just, just stay there. We don't want to, we don't want to, to risk having to come rescue you. Don't even worry about it. The evening crew can't leave, so we're, we're very well staffed. One of my coworkers uh, brought in a pair of snowshoes and he ended up using those quite a bit throughout the night as he ended up having to um, snowshoe out to, to fix some of the various problems we encountered. Whenever um, power was lost to the main ejector, I think the, the village was affected as well. Snow had piled so high and the winds were blowing so hard that um, enough snow got into the power you know, enclosure, the cabinet, that it shorted out. So to do our best to um, work together with roads and grounds, work together with, um, with other people to sort of shovel out a path and try to get, try to get things going again. Several people brought in food from home, um, cooked up a nice little feast and had it on the back table and people were able to take turns taking naps as, as necessary and, and eat um, uh, from the, the feast that they set up on the back table. My boss, Dwayne, um, came in, he lives nearby, so he came in on a snowmobile with those huge pans of lasagna and they were able to cook those up as well. So they actually had a pretty good time um, sort of like working together and, and cooking and, and, and eating and just sort of keeping things going throughout the blizzard. So I think that this story illustrates the, the spirit of, of Fermilab, to deal with whatever, whatever problems come your way um, and do it, uh, you know, do it cleverly and with good humor.